We live? Yeah. We live. All right. This oh, is a good one. Back on. All policies are inherently racist, classist, mm -hmm. in many cases sexist. They will benefit mm -hmm. those with power and privilege unless they are specifically aimed at dismantling that power or privilege. And even okay. then, okay. that policy is only going to go so far because the system is what it is. Well, with your kid so, being almost shot, you said your kid was almost shot? Yeah, the bullet literally went right through. Oh, yeah. So, do, in your mind, literally. do you have an As, idea of what the what the kids, what race they were that shot the they bullet? Was, they, they, was, they was black. Okay, so that's no. one of the things that <laughs> they, I wanted to they, get they in. Was black. I noticed if I want to speak, I'm going to have to just speak up. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. So it's yeah, like, do. Like, like, talk. if no, you, no, no, no. Okay, let, let, you should probably let, let talk. question anything that would turn you against your own, like skin, people who are in the same race as you, people who are also black, because it seemed like you were just real quick to, to throw those black kids away. And I understand how why you've let me in more on what happened like what gave you this idea that that was an okay thought but mm -hmm. this is my point is like that's what the oppressor is doing mm -hmm. they are they are getting black people to turn on each other and justifying it and um exploiting that to like a really big degree and you did that it sounds oh, like what what i can accept that, that well quickly that. i'll say this when when you made that when you made that comment to them that's all they look for. What comment? What comment? Like if okay. O'Shea know how you felt about that and you agree with him, that's okay. all they needed. So was that one, one black, black Negro. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. This how they this how they justify things. Cause they always with the Candace woman. Wow. Candace Owens. Candace Owens. They love her. You know why? They don't care if it's no more like her. Chicago. All they're gonna do is go yeah. off that one and that that's a curse on us too, because that one person don't represent all, all of us. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And you know, and that's what it is, like and then by you, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta kind of, you gotta watch what you say around them because right now, probably not now because you're looking at different, you're looking at things different because I see you exploiting them more. But before you started exploiting them, you was the token. Mm -hmm. You was the token because they knew how you felt about one subject. One subject. Then they, mm -hmm. then they classified you as the token nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how they. That's that's all they need. All they need is one token, and they feel like hell. If he feel like this, we can run with this. We ain't that bad. And you know, and I feel like it's a shame that it's a shame that it happens. But sometimes when we want to sit at them tables, and we we so eager to push our agenda and sit down with with those people that we become a token before we even know it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you can fall for that. I never fell for that because I got put in a situation with the mayor and I already knew what it was. Right. You know, sit down, supposed to have this big meeting, and then he called a certain entertainer in Rockford and told him, well, that's cool, we can reschedule because I only had 10 minutes for y'all anyway. Hmm. And the dude called me back and said, man, you was right, Tommy. He just wanted us to get there, and then he said we could take a picture. I said, oh, I wasn't taking no pictures. You was going to take a picture with them. I wasn't going to do it, but yeah, it, it's, he was it's, using it's, him as a token. It's a token. And I didn't, here's the thing about it, I didn't, I didn't see it because as of being used, and, and me and my sister talked, believe, believe you me, when um, I got, I got an earful for, for my sister, <laughs> for, my, for my sister Asia, and it was, and it was. But Brandon, you said yeah. you still feel that way. You still feel that way, bro. I just, and, I, and I just, I just, I just literally, I just, literally, I just, just like but I just. His space. I don't think we should keep. No, 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 but no, 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 no. He, he want to. Yeah, because I like for people to. If, 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 I don't yeah, want I nobody. Did, I don't want to impress. I don't want no. Listen, no, listen. That's, that's, okay, right, but let me say this. Let me say this, man. It's just like how. Safe environment. Hold on. It's just like this, man. And I and I have to say this because it's done too much. If if that's how you feel at the time and you feel like that now. I have to respect that. I don't have to agree true. with it, right. but that's yeah, how you yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. I'm, true. This is what I'm tired of as black people. Always want somebody to apologize for the shit they said. They said what they said and they meant what they said. Mm -hmm. Like, quit looking for people to apologize. Now, if somebody come back a month later and apologize, 
Okay, they thought on it, they sat on it, slept on but it, they thought the about it. Here's the thing. But though. why do you want to force somebody to apologize? I don't care to force, I don't no care to force anybody to apologize. No, I'm just We're saying. Giving but, him but here's hold on. The, when We're giving him the opportunity no, let me finish. to explain No, I'm not talking about him in general. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The thing is this. The thing right. is this. Like, mm -hmm. you get to choose your actions. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do not get to choose your consequences. This is true. Mm -hmm. So no. if you feel a certain way, as your sister, it is my duty to let you know, hey, there are going to be some consequences within the community if you continue to vocalize yeah. this feeling. If that's how you feel, stand ten toes down. But you do not get to be upset when people are calling you names, mm -hmm. when people feel a certain kind of way about you. Like, that's what you set yourself up for when you side with the oppressor. The end is the consequence. When well, slaves try to go back to the plantation, Harry tell me to kill him. No. Yeah. No. So I don't mean to say that anyway. I ain't saying no, no, I ain't no, 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 to the same thing. No, 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 I'm just saying, no, 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 yeah. So yeah, let me okay. let me just let me close. Let me let me close. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let, I'll let you close at your own statement. Let, let, this let, is, let, this let is me, your topic. Let me let me close. Yeah, it. go ahead. So working with what I do is very it is very difficult for me and, and these days and this times today. My mind has literally torn into listen, unfortunately it's so many lost children, lost youth, with no guidance, no direction that honestly right now because of the system and how it is designed i'm not naive to our children are, are not like this on accident this is a purposely done plan by white supremacy that is fact unfortunately our people have accepted it and normalized it unfortunately no like, white supremacy gotta, still exists. Be no, bro, no, white no, 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 okay, so, no, but listen, but no, 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 but, but no, it, it, no, it, it, it is it, normal because white supremacy has made it normal. But you don't have to accept it. White I don't, okay, everybody, 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 every, 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 every single person in this room, all of us, everybody in this room, I, I do view as very smart, intelligent, you know, black and brown people. Every single person in this room has been raised and cultivated in this same system we're talking about. This same white supremacist system, which ones we're talking about. Yes. Right. Every last one of us. But some yes. of us have really great racial I, civilizations. Some yeah. of us have okay. great role models. Some we have privileges us, that some people don't yes, have. Yeah, I, just think that, I didn't have class those. Class privilege. You don't have right. a privilege I, I, of having like, 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 literally those. thinking I, for I, yourself I, is a privilege. I think that you got to be careful when you say things because I understand what it is you're trying to say. You're trying to I say mean, that getting, because yeah, of yeah. because of your life experiences and things that's going on. You do still agree with the statement that he making, which is with the, which is fine to say. It's not nothing wrong with that. It's you're not the only black person that feel like that. It's, multiple black people in Rockford felt like that, so it's yeah. not nothing wrong with that. But I That's think that I'm we saying. gotta be careful when it's you went, no, But you know, yeah. I just think you gotta be careful when you lead up to saying that, and then you say things like 15, 16 year old uh, doing all the shooting, and then you gotta be careful when you say things like. We have uh, accepted and normalized something. Well, we have. Because, but but no. we, when you, we have you again, we, we have not done that because uh, we've accepted. Far, it. No, we no, have no. We, we have not are accepted victims it. of a system. And, it, and so the same there's... thing. As far as it's, it's not as if you have sat down with the however many million black people, and each one of them have told you that they have accepted these things. Right. Black people within circles. For always years, resisted. have always resisted this. But if always. if we have, trust me, if we had accepted it and gave into it, we all be that we would be. We it'll be a lot less it. black people, a lot less black people. If we had all accepted it, it would be no Ferguson. It would be no. Uh, it would be no. Say their names. It'd be no. None of none of these things would have happened. We wouldn't be here these past four months if that was a true case. They wouldn't be trying to co-op and try to get photos with people if they if that was true that we have accepted that. So again, it's fine for you to make the statement that you still agree with him, but be careful when you say things like 15, 16, 17 year olds, and we have accepted and normalized something because that those will are be not absolute truths. Those truth. are not, and they will be regurgitated by white people. I think this has been productive. No. Okay, real quick, I want to jump over. I want to jump. I'm going to jump because we're talking about. I saw we're leading into uh, protests and people not uh, being part of the status quo and agreeing. One of the questions that we had before uh, our technical difficulties here 
was why do you think that the protests were uh, productive and why do you think others feel as if they were counterproductive? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean... Others' opinions? Yeah, the I don't know. The protest, the protest showed me, the protest showed me the level of, the level of BS from the RPD and the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. It was an expose. It, it showed me, it showed me the, That's productive. It, it showed me the exact level and the height of the, the, of, of bull crap. Um, and I spoke about it at that, at that town hall and then it was, just, and it went on deaf ears. Um, that literally like, Damn, like it's it is it, this is this it's at this level where it's not even about what's right. It's not even about the law. There were there's some things about it, um, the creation of laws of of, of the, the crosswalk. That literally was the most bull the bull thing I've ever heard of and seen in my entire human yeah, life. Three hundred thousand dollars worth of overtime. That is literally mm. or, uh, with, with, which is, that's dollars. coming of our tax dollars to police young folk who's fighting against the system. But yet, literally, the same day, the Friday, somebody was arrested, somebody got killed the same exact day. We were actually at the jail one time, waiting for some of our comrades to be released, and there were guns, it was like somebody let off a whole clip, literally. No, now, sure now, now, what had happened prior to that moment was, they like to intimidate and pull up in droves. They pulled a bunch of cars mm -hmm, around. Mm -hmm. A bunch of officers got out to come up to us to tell mm -hmm, us that we weren't that. doing anything wrong, which we already knew. Mm -hmm. So they came out there to have mm -hmm. that conversation with us. They let off this clip, and we're like, um, do y'all want to go handle that? And they're like, uh, um, yeah, I guess what we should. What was wrong with that lady? I don't She was drunk or what something. Was wrong she with was it? on something. She was. The, the, she was a sergeant for the county. Yeah. yeah. She was a sergeant for the county. Yeah, this Shots is all the way boop, 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 boop. The other guys look. They they was waiting on her. And she's just looking at the and having a conversation. And she with just us. stood there like. That's the people are questioning. Yeah, and I'm like, and sis. kept bucking her eyes like, man, it was so, crazy. So let me let me let me uh, let me crazy. let me tweak that question a little bit. I want to answer that question too. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go um, go I think ahead. that the the protests have been productive in disrupting the status quo. So literally, like. At the beginning of this whole entire thing, Leslie and um, a few other people were trying to have conversations <clears throat> with citizens about what happened on May 30th. Kathy McDermott put them out. Mm. And so the protests revved up because you just don't get to tell me, no, I don't get to talk about this in a public space. So we successfully and productively had that conversation every single week disrupting that event with that same message that she tried to silence in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That is productive. People, mm -hmm. people now know what happened on May 30th. People now know that you do not get to tell us that we, will, we can't speak about certain things in certain places. We do what we must. You do not have the authority to tell me anything. You have no authority over me. So we, we success, that was, a, that was a successful mission in, in disrupting the status quo and keeping that message at the core of that event that tried to silence that message. Finding out how uh, disorganized and cowardly the local police department and the sheriff's department is, a con. Say, say that again. A, they were and cowardly yeah. and they were very disorganized. Yeah. And most of the time they were reacting. It was very obvious that they didn't have a plan moving in on this. Um, there were more arrests in the beginning, and towards the end, we still had some arrests. I just think that a con would be the people who are currently arrest, facing charges for their previous arrests because their freedom is at stake. And, and I think that's the part that we shouldn't lose sight of either right. after the protest. Like, how do we move forward after the protest? Kind of like what Latisa was saying, like, are we just... People are saying, like, go out and vote, and then they stop there. Mm -hmm. People are protesting, and then they, they're, they're, they're stopping there. What are some other actionable items we fall that we back. Can do? We have to fall back on individualism. We have I, to I, I get agree. to, and I, I'm, that's a 50-50 I, that's a for me, because, like, Brandon, I have conversations, like the one we just had with you about your beliefs and how they're different from mine, mm -hmm. but that's separate from me having conversation with people who are completely anti-racist anti or at least 
in a manner that is that I find uh, like appropriate for me to be around. Um, I just I think that if we focus on the mass movement, on that is how you free the political prisoners. A, a mass organized. We have to stop thinking that it's just because I am oppressed on multitudes of levels, mm -hmm, yeah. and. I constantly will try, besides going on a podcast as I am right now, to decenter myself <laughs> right. when I am in a protest or an action. But um, this is something that I'm passionate about, that I'm dedicating my life to continuing to talk about in public. So mm -hmm. I think that looking at what has freed political prisoners of the past is thousands and thousands. And Can I ask a question as a um, viewer? Yeah. <laughs> no, serious. I'm, I'm asking this Go question ahead. because I've been... I won't, I mean, I, I got a hell of a resume when it comes to the youth and stuff, but I have to ask this question because of the people that we have sitting here today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want Because I do want to find out who are, has, has, my inbox been jumping. Mm -hmm. Text messages, fell out with a family member. Yeah. While y'all protesting, why y'all ain't doing nothing about these killings out here happening yeah, with these young people? Let me tell you something. I'm telling you that. I'm not answering that anymore. No. Who wants to take that? Who wants to put the man on that? Let's, let's go. I will. Go this is, this is Brandon. Who wants to touch a one and done. Because there's Sales people, there's burgers, people watching yeah. right now. They need to. Okay. Yeah. KFC this is a This is a one and done answer. <laughs> Some things you specialize in. I'm sorry. I'm yes, I mean, that's like, that's really it. But like, there's a category called fast food. Yes. Right? It is not fine dining. And some things, we focus on this. This is, yeah, this particular group of people is focused on this particular issue right now. Black on black crime is a myth. It's a fallacy. Oh. It is Number one, it does not sell. exist. Rating. If you want to, you want me to explain media. it? Yeah, okay, to. I'll explain okay. it. You have to. <laughs> Black on black crime right. is not does not exist <laughs> according to the FBI statistics Thank of you. violent crime. Every single race individually Same. kills its own race higher, higher than rate. at higher rates than anyone else kills them because of proximity. Yes. People are violent against who they are close to. Yes. That's right. okay, yeah. Black people are yeah. close to black people yeah. because Thanks, of segregated Red cities. Yep. Mm. Segregation is what creates single race on single race crime. Mm -hmm. But it happens in every single race out of all of them. They and always kill. Here and, and according to those same statistics, white people are more likely to kill black people than black people are likely to kill anyone else. That's the true that's right. statement. It's the absolute truth. That's, that's right. it. I mean, that, that just needed to be. Right. The end. Black on black crime does not exist. To answer the question just, about why people aren't just, protesting that, or why people aren't working against that, people are. You should always shut down. down. Daily. And you should or just is it there's also a lack of organization, right. though. I think that those are getting swept under the rug in some regards, in my personal opinion. And if there was more mobilization, if people were more connected as organizers or just as citizens, some people don't consider themselves to be an organizer, whatever you consider yourself as a citizen of the city, I'll tell you, this. you can work with each other and, and do that. I'll say this. Instead of and asking I have you seen why it. I'm not doing it. But you do it. Are you worried about what I'm not doing? In certain you parts of certain you cities, that up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, in certain yeah. parts of certain cities, Black Lives Matter is catching hell yeah. from people who feel yeah, like, I know. why y'all want to yeah. come? Why y'all <laughs> y'all want in here when when this was happening? Y'all want in here when that happened? Why y'all here now? There just, have been countless Chicago, stop the violence events that have been going on in the city since the I was South born. South. Mm. And it's the same thing where it's like first. You should always question yourself when you black and you saying something that white people is saying to, to yeah. try to, you know, because this piece, when we go to the back to blue, people saying, why ain't y'all out of Chicago? What about the person who just got shot last week yeah. or over the weekend? You yeah. know, so you should always question yourself if, a, if a, a white supremacist, a man who proudly is a white supremacist or a white it's nationalist same. saying the exact same it thing as you, you need to question that. And then also... Anybody who feel like that, I hope that they are going to each hospital where people is working and telling all the people that's working on AIDS treatments to stop that and work on cancer treatments. And telling everybody who out here working on Alzheimer that's treatments good. to stop working on Alzheimer treatments and stop working on cancer, cancer treatments. Treatment. If they plan is that everybody should be working to solve one I'm issue, saying. you know. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. I had to ask it because I don't know if y'all in boxing been getting it, but yeah, I, yeah. I mean, no, yeah. you know, me being a formal this and me yeah. being a former that, yeah. I've been getting the. 
You know, <laughs> but you know, you know, you know what though, man. To to the reason why they ask that question, man, is is simply because now you put yourself up in a in a leadership role. So now, one thing, and especially in this goofy, weird city, is this city followers want followers want to dictate the way leaders go. So now you are looking at why why is kids doing this and what what y'all what. What y'all gonna do about the black on black crime? Yeah. yeah. My yeah. response, okay, wow, you y'all protesting the system and what's going on. We gotta yeah. stop using that term. No, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. But, 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 we gotta we gotta stop. No, but it's not my response. I have to stop violence. My response is if we talk about Rockford in a whole, it's not just black people killing black people out there. If you watch the if you if it's not happening anywhere in the world violence. What are you doing? Unless you are in the world. But my thing was what are you doing? Black people are genius. I I answer it how I answer it. Yeah, but you gotta think about it. Black people are genius. I answer it how I answer it. And it was something similar to that. Yeah. You don't. Yeah, no, my you mind don't be going mind. so fast. Mm -hmm. I be skippity bopping all through the conversation, but I handled it. I answered it like similar to she answered. I like to break stuff like down real quick because I don't like. I don't have the long terminology patience <laughs> like Asia has, but yeah. or Leslie. So I break it down quick, like because this is what I want to do. You gonna do that, and this is what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm fighting for injustice. I'm fighting for discrimination. This yeah. is what I'm fighting for. Black people are your, not are not. Right. Um, they have not been not deputized. Black people have not sworn have been sworn have not been sworn in to protect right. and serve black people. Yeah, there you go. That's and good. guess That's what? Good. That's that good. is That's not good. our job. You decide to investigate. Pookie and Ray Ray go to jail. They go to jail. We so, get we get justice, and we don't pay tax dollars for them to carry their guns. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. and we do not pay to settle the lawsuits when they go out and kill somebody. Mm -hmm. So no, it's not, I, you know, it's not I, the same at all. Yeah. I don't entertain it. I, I remember I, when I, I first got in office, and see, the media does this. Yeah. Because when I first got in office, they invite me to have this whole conversation online to talk about being the first black woman and blah, 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 and then started talking about domestic violence. Okay, we can talk about women's issues. We can talk about, which are really community issues. We can talk mm -hmm. about all of that. <laughs> But then somebody mm -hmm. hauled up, they she all hauled, hauled up and asked about black on black crime. And I said, Oh no, we're not gonna have that conversation right now today. Mm. But if you want to, and then that's when I started mm -hmm. rattling off the mm -hmm. stats. Trust and believe that's the one part that was edited out of the show. Of course. Was, <laughs> but it, it, it it's, you know, it hit yeah. home on me because it was it was a relative questioning me about it uh -huh. that didn't know I just lost a relative to violence. Mm -hmm. mm. Like Two days, Probably. so yeah. Yeah. this this relative was like just at me about it, like boo 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 and all this and that. So that's why I said, I'll, in case that nosy motherfucker watching, mm -hmm. he, can, he, can, he he heard what Asia had to say yeah. because he he feel like he was pressuring me, but he wasn't pressuring me because it's like when I if I go if I decide to turn that way. Mm -hmm. And still stay on this political side too, as far as protesting. If I decide to turn that way, I'm pretty sure I will have some effectiveness because I have done it and I have lived it, and I have been to the schools. You wouldn't believe how many with at-risk youth. You wouldn't believe how many papers down I'm on as a guardian mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the dad not there or mm -hmm. the dad don't care. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe in the schools. Like I ain't gave the school district hell. I used to work for them, mm -hmm. so you know. But I'm not now. So when I always feel something when somebody die or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially to you. I got young kids. I, I come up in the behavior system. I got like eight, nine years in the behavior system with behavior kids, sexually mentally abused girls, you know, um, at risk teens. Mm -hmm. So it's like I got kids that, that's doing like 70 or 80 years right now. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody questioned me about why I'm not doing this and doing that, I'm like, man, fuck you. All right. You know what I'm saying? For real, is, like people don't know. Can we say this is another example of treating black people again as superhuman? Yeah, that's good. As being that's so good. exceptional and so different from any other human beings walking on the planet that we are held to some particular moral code uh, or standard that is no still not going to protect us <laughs> from white supremacy anyway. Oh like, can we just talk about that? Yeah, because I'm just I'm, that's the truth. But you know the bad part of it is we can keep talking about white supremacy, we white are, this, though. white that. But we maybe are. this will be another pack, podcast. <laughs> Our own black people. Yeah, but and I know yeah, people no, try no, to no, avoid that. Before we go there, let me say this to, I, to, to I wanna, touch on your last but, thing. But, 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 Defunding the police is fighting crime. 
Yeah. Because what do you do with those funds? You fund yeah. those communities. Yes. And when yeah. communities yes. are funded, yes. violence goes down. Yes. Yes. Fighting to yes. fighting to defund the police deserts. is fighting crime. Yeah, so it's like that's what I'm saying. Crappy school. I'm oh, yeah. it's, it's people messaging us and giving opinions yeah. that haven't They don't know. They haven't yeah. donated to the bond out fund. They haven't came down there. They at don't all. agree. They don't yeah. agree with what we're doing, but what then comment? but then you want to sit here and Man, I'm up front and I'm bold, criticize, man. Criticize, criticize. Oh, yeah, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. This and I'm and I'm glad because it's people watching this who who I'm talking about. Like they just want to sit there and say, say what we need to do and we need to do this and we need to do that. Like educate yourself. Like Monday, I'll say this. Quarterback and let them do it. And, and some of the people I'll say this too it. under the Black Lives Matter organization. Mm -hmm. Quit printing up Black Lives Matter shirt and ain't kicking them back no money because that's mm -hmm. an organization. Mm -hmm. you know, that's true. Now, while you're not supporting our movement, quit printing their shirts up and selling them for twenty or thirty dollars, and that's an organization, and you're not kicking them back no money. While you sitting there trying to criticize and talk about what we're doing, mm. and not just black people, but anti-fascist, anti-racist, and black people, I think should talk more, and there should be conversations about it because the reason I fight against the police or the reason I stand up to the police is because they threaten to kill me. They threaten to take away my rights. Mm -hmm. And so right. that's just the people who are at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. Underneath the police mm -hmm. are people who are homophobic, mm -hmm. are people who are transphobic, are people mm -hmm. who think that I don't have mm -hmm. a right or that somehow my existence isn't valid. Right. And those people are wow. in the black community. They're in my Mexican Latinx community that I'm also a part of. They're in the white community. Mm -hmm. So we have to eradicate it, not just with the police, but we can start there. I don't mind starting. I want I want to talk about this real quick. I want to talk about the because we kind of we've been we've been kind of touching here, touching there, mm -hmm. touching here. I want to talk about education. Oh, please. Uh, we've been kind of we've kind of been talking about it. So, right now in the Rockford public school system, the black student is becoming the majority of the student population. So mm -hmm. do we find it necessary to reform the current curriculum and policies and or do do we need to revolt and where do you think we should revolt at? We're gonna, <laughs> okay, we're going to start. Tommy and then we'll go. Hey, I'll, I'll be real quick. I think, I think we need to revolt against the <laughs> hiring practices of black teachers. Love you. We need to revolt against that. Like how they the hiring practice for black teachers. Mm. And we need to reform with putting the black teachers in the in the predominant black school schools population of black schools because they have a better how can I put it the teachers have they can relate to our kids that's that's exactly they can right. relate to our kids better than you know non black teachers mm -hmm. so that's why I, that's why I say the um that's how I feel about that so wait, you said you, we need to reform the hiring practices yeah. of black teachers yeah can and we need to revolt against it as far as because if you look, man, man, that's a whole nother topic. And you almost need to get black teachers on board on a podcast. But I'll let you probably talk to somebody. Like me, I used to work alongside a teacher, so I'm just quick with it, so you probably let Asia. Well, I'm gonna say something. Let my sister that is, break it down for you guys. Yeah, like <laughs> this is probably not gonna be very popular, um, a popular opinion. Uh, but the thing that happened to our education system, specifically for our black and brown kids, mm -hmm. that hurt us the most mm -hmm. was desegregation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Desegregation yep. killed so our educational system. Mm -hmm. Only a fool lets their enemy educate their children. Oh Why? Because the enemy of the unjust, the people who have been unjustly mm -hmm. prosecuted or persecuted always writes the history from their winning perspective, mm -hmm. which leaves out the experience of the person themselves. Yeah. So our children have been, since, since desegregation has happened, our children have been getting a very whitewashed version of education in order to perpetuate the white supremacist ideology, to perpetuate the white establishment, and to keep them thinking that they are nothing but slaves. Mm. Why does our history in this, in this curriculum begin with slavery? That is not who we are. Mm -hmm. We are not slaves. We were enslaved. Mm. That's right. But we are not slaves. We actually have a home. We have an actual ancestry that does not tie directly to the United States of, of America. Mm -hmm. 
That would never be taught in these school systems because it does not it does not perpetuate the idea of white supremacy. If we if we were to like Tommy said, let black educators have a black educational curriculum that taught black children, black children would be much more prepared for the real world. Mm. They would have a real experience, they would have a real history, they would have a real application of sciences, they would have a real cultivation of their natural talents that we will never get from a white school system. Desegregation killed our educational system. And we need to what? revolt and, against and that. The lack, and of, and the lack of history of blacks is being taught in the colleges too. White people sitting up talking yeah. about their degrees and stuff, your history degree is not covering the actual history of black no, people. No, it's covering, like, so, history is written so, from the perspective of the not at an HBCU right. school, right. for one. Yeah. So don't think you're getting the full black history a at the... those are white-owned, too. Yes. Uh, yeah, they are. They are. Even, like, one, even, even in black and, uh, a historically black college <laughs> and university, if the historically black college and university is still using the same curriculum, and they're not still <laughs> teaching from a, 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 a very Africanized perspective, What's then the you're not getting a black education. Right. Hey, are you calling the historically black colleges and universities? Some of these can be still part of the white supremacy. Yes. Yeah, they yes. are. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's what education <laughs> in general no. is a tool used by the oppressor to keep right. the oppressed. I oppressed. guarantee my kids don't just know about Harry Tubman and George Washington Carver. Yeah. My 13, 14 year olds, I guarantee. Yeah. They peanuts, know, and, peanuts and freedom. I, I guarantee they know they know about who put the soul, who started yeah, found a machine yeah. to start yeah. putting soles on the bottom of shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah. They know what made that train, be, that locomotive train, be able to function and go so That's far. the benefit of having you know a black educator. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, they teach like, you about things that you come should on, man. care about. They know, they, so know, wanna... they know about people was, they know about, they know about the blacks that was giving patents to the white man to sit into the United That's States. Good. That's teach. That's teach. Man. And they didn't, they to get their patents done, and the white man was taking their name off, putting theirs on. And they should also know about Henrietta Lacks, who was yeah. utilized mm -hmm. as a horse. Through system. eugenics. Oh, through eugenics and the practice of eugenics, her, she, she has literally modernized all oh. modern medicine for the entire <laughs> world and never saw a motherfucking a dime or a piece of credit for it. Mm. So we always and, need to reform the education. To the point of the assistant chief who made the comment about black women being much stronger than what we are, or that what we feel, and have a high tolerance. pain tolerance. Yeah. Every woman, every white, black, brown, Asian woman in America benefits from the experimentation that was done on black, on black female females. bodies to create the field of gynecology. Yes. So when you go get a pap smear, you mm. owe us. Mm. We, we suffered for that. Say, yes, mm. we suffered Tea. for that. But to the, we have made several points here, but I want to make a point because we talked about what happens after voting, mm -hmm. if there's something to do after voting. Mm -hmm. Um, and right now there is a bill in the Illinois House that is, I think, Representative Ford, I hope you watch and you probably not, I know you're busy, but it basically is to strip what we are being, t what we're teaching now is, is history mm -hmm. because it rec he recognizes mm -hmm. and the bill recognizes the fact that it is to indoctrinate white supremacist That's ideology cool. Cool. and that there has to be a shifting yep. and an undoing of the really? curriculum. That's good. But that yeah. being said, RPS 205, it is already state standard that you teach black history mm -hmm. and you're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that goes back to the point of what is happening at the school board and with that administration and why our curriculum does not look like the children who are in our schools. Mm -hmm. They're not teaching at it. all. You know, every year I'm asking what the hell is going on. The black history programs. They yeah. have been eliminated. Yeah. Um, just like that, um, what did um, Winnebago School, high school do? Remember they they didn't celebrate, um, was it Martin Luther King birthday? They didn't have school anyway, was mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know. To make up their winner. Their winner, their winner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's yeah. like, yeah. and you know what, believe it or not, I don't know, man, we, we have to give back like, Back in the 60s when it was the Black Panthers, we have to get back having sessions. We got to get back teaching each other. Cause that kind of goes like, back to your point. It, yes. it, it, don't like, it, yeah, yeah. it does go to that. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, we got to... We gotta give people information. We, we have to educate people. ourselves. Like we literally cannot exist. Yeah, like, like as long as we are existing, trying to 
ask them to give us the means Anything. to exist. Mm. We will always be slave to them yep. yeah. until we take it upon ourselves to feed ourselves, to house ourselves, to educate ourselves, to protect ourselves, to medicate and, and keep ourselves healthy. We will not, we will not see um, ourselves thriving in those spaces. Yeah. We need our own education system. Rockford is also home to one of the only uh, black primary schools that I've ever seen. I've never seen that in any other place. For primary? Yeah, oh, wow. like primary education that is black run and it is actually not like a, a homeschool co-op, but it's an actual, like they have an actual curriculum. Rockford has one of those. You know, like we need more of that. We need a lot more of that. We need more, I think we need, yeah. more community based efforts. Like you said, of coming together and being able to, I don't may not agree with you on this end, mm -hmm. but I agree but with this, this state right here. And, and the thing that prevents us from doing that is the idea that at some point we can be capitalists. <laughs> Thank you. We, we work so hard to try to get above the line that we don't even take the time that it really takes to pay it forward to the next generation. Mm -hmm. I tell people on your point, if you want to look on how it's done, just look at the south side of Rockford. If you look at the south side of Rockford, it's, it's predominantly Latino, right? Correct? Um, no, not like it used to be. So we're over there. We're over there. It's shifted back now? Yeah, we over there. Okay. Because you got to think. Or you you got to think. Look at your grandparents' generation. No, the reason, the reason, the reason. No, the reason I'm saying. Okay, okay. It's not as many. The Hispanic. Right, right, right. Right, right. But see, but the you, you got to think. The Tears the the is 99% yeah. black. Right, right. From Montague on down to Ogilvy. Past Ogilvy is still black. So we we got. Down, down by the uh, Guardians and all that. A lot okay. of them have left. Right, okay. Okay, so. so Hispanics have left. Has left. Okay. So. Well, the reason why I said, thank you for telling me that. Yeah. The reason why I, I, I used them was because you've seen them, and you're right about the Great Migration, but unfortunately, like we just said, we don't know our history. I try to give the young people something they can see, and, and what you said with the, the Latino community, when they go to the South Side, is one family came, they put it in, and then boom, that was one grocery store, and then there was another grocery store, and then here it goes, and they literally have taking a, 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 a side that was predominantly all black ran businesses, and now it's all majority Latino ran businesses. It used to be a black grocery store. You, you, you're right. You're so, and so from that, it's exactly, it's exactly what everybody is saying is, and I think, I believe, it, correct me if I'm, it was Killer Mike, who said black, black people not ready for a revolution because we don't have everything that you just said already in place to be able to effectively go out and then we vote. It, it, we are in that catch-22 where it's like, we want to revolt with this hand, but on this hand saying, can I have a handout? And, and until, you sell, until you're willing to close that fist and say, no, I'm just going to put all my, in this side, we, we, just for me, my observation as a friends of people, as we want to revolt, we see that revolt is needed, but we don't have the resources. We don't have the tools. tools. We don't have the tools. So it's kind of, it, it, so how do we then go, That's what do we... What how do we well, do your unpaid labor for 400 years? Yes, yeah. Man, you know what, though? Yeah. I, I, you can't uh, build any generational uh, wealth. Like, I hear what y'all saying, but I'm like, when my mom moved here from Louisiana, yeah. it was black. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm saying, like, we don't need the handouts. We need the commitment of our but, people. But, but what happened to the West Side? No, I mean, What happened yeah. to the West Side yeah, is yeah, they, is the, when, after the Great Migration, when all our families came here, those that are from here. Or to um, the north, period. To the north, period, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, 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 happened is, yeah. what yeah. happened is desegregation, which led to gentrification, and they snatch all the resources out of those communities, suck them dry so they will die, so they can go back and take them back for cheap. and put their own shit in there. That's what happened. We time. never had the resources to keep to run it ourselves. We keep going with it. The Great Migration was not us having all these great resources to establish a, an autonomous community. No, it mm -hmm. was us taking the hand out and getting the hell away from the South so that we could at least breathe for a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. We took Teach. that breath Teach. and we still breathing and for a minute and now we're <laughs> suffocated. But do you believe like, yeah. do you believe in like, if you look at the money we spend with, with Asians, 
Imagine if we cut that in half and put it back in our community. That would be great. That would be great. You know what I'm but saying? But we don't so, have resources to begin that with. That would be great, but really. But I'm saying, we, day, we don't have the resources. Work, but what I'm trying to say is we got the. Right. We have, we have the we have the finances. No, in, in this city, no we do not. Women is Man, $5. There's no way we. I'm telling you, Mike, I kind of. Maybe I'm speaking from. I kind of. I kind of. It is. I'm t- I'll say this, man. I don't it's think like, man, how can I use this for Where example? Where are they? Where like, are the finances? The black, I'm telling Where you. Where are these rich white black Because folks, it's like, uh, if you I look at what they spend in, in beauty supply mm-hmm. stores, it's that's our money. That I know what you're saying. So that is not it's no $100. Not. That's a billion dollar <laughs> industry. You think we don't play no part in that? We absolutely no, we do, play, yeah. play so a part in that. But the thing the thing about it is, is that. It's not. It's not a localized issue. Yeah, that's a. Like a na- like, that's a very a national issue. issue. Yeah, you know. yeah like, but I'm that's just. Like, I'm just looking at even. It's. I'm telling you, it's money in Rockford on both ends, brother. It's oh, the yeah. streets or the business. It's All like. I'm gonna say is there is land for sale on the west. Yeah. Oh yeah, because say less. I seen the redevelopment say of the West Side. Say less. 20, I saw the redevelopment of the West Side twenty years ago. You probably can see it too. They got it all laid yeah, out. Yeah, it's planned. West State. West State. Yeah. Yeah. West State supposed to be a six lane highway or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But all I'm saying is like. I just cannot believe that we don't have money to make our own moves and be productive with our own money. What type the of money are you is trying to get the city not to stop it? Yeah. Like, we can do that, things in Rockford, but that, how many black-owned right businesses have been shut down by yeah, RPD? That. Is it, have been shut too down many. Yeah, yeah, that's what I agree with that. That's too what I, many. I agree with that. They so don't that's what I, business. Because, like, my mom, when my mom came mm-hmm. here, like, whether it was bars, restaurants, mm-hmm. like, she said everything, like, she loved that blackness coming from the South. And keep in mind, like, I spent a lot of time in Birmingham, Alabama, a 77% yeah. black uh, city. Yeah. Birmingham, Alabama still has a hood. And it, and it outweighs because capitalism, capitalism because of capitalism. capitalism. And it's the same thing like back then. Who, who owned who owned the buildings that some of these, you know, we say no, black owned businesses, but who owned no, the buildings? Say this, you know, Robert, the black, we owned the buildings. But, the, but then it's the same thing back then, okay. Who owned the buildings? Then what do that that uh, bank payment and the loans look like? And what yeah. the percentage look like? You know, some of the things it's is ridiculous. you know some of the things in the you know if you go the back tracks. in the no matter how far you go back if you look deeper if you look the devils in the details if you look in the details yeah. it was it might not have been as black uh, the black dollars as many black dollars going into black pockets as it seemed like. You know, because again, you gotta you gotta look back where all of this is going to, and the same thing is all them products is the black people create all the products no. on the shelves, and then and then the is, you know it's, it's the, the same thing. But see, if you if you know yeah. if you know the history of a lot of black people of blacks who had a lot of ownership, the question is, this is the thing: why they had to sell? They had to sell because new things start coming in from mm-hmm. from um from wherever. From where we'll say wherever, mm-hmm. new stores, new restaurants start coming in. So guess what we did? We went there. We stopped patronizing our own people. That's yeah. how we start losing the property. That's the, you know what I'm saying? So that's I'm just saying as black people, we can do it. Desegregation happened. I was just gonna say we were allowed to step foot into white establishments, and because we have not been able to do that for the past 400 years, we feel like that is the great. Uh, yeah. The great coup de gras right. of goes, life is to step in a white establishment. No, 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 sit, no, no. But, <laughs> but it goes, it it goes back. I know the ownership that people yeah. was having in Rockford, and it, you're right. And it's crazy that we just said screw them. We're gonna go over here, not realizing when you said screw them, yeah. they was about to go out of business. We were the ones that fought for desegregation. Yeah. We said screw ourselves. So it it yeah. goes back. It goes. That's our parents that's and I'm grandparents to, doing. It, it yeah, goes back to, to right. um, my point earlier. Is is black? Us as black I'm people. No, 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 <laughs> not because you, you. Because uh, <laughs> you, you. Us, no, us so as black loud. people. Um, not all of us. I, I hate using generalized statements, but kind of what you're saying and what, what Asia's saying is that we have that white validation. Yeah. It's something. Man. It's something that we, as a people, is right. have to ha, ha, have to, to get over. <laughs> like it, having, you know, we, you know, all of us can put a step on appro- approval on somebody, but unfortunately, it, black people don't feel validated until the, the step comes from a white man. But if we're talking about Rockford, let's just. 
we talking about everything as a whole, but if we just talk about Rockford and we talk about getting businesses going in Rockford, black owned businesses in Rockford, if we talking about buying buildings in Rockford. Uh -huh. The city uh -huh. of Rockford uh -huh. government uh -huh. does not allow that shit no, to happen. They no. shut it down at so every yeah, single yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like people the single want to vote them out. Vote but can I, can, 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 I tell, can I can I tell you something? Well, One thing. You no, you're, no, you're right. You're right. So that's what the yeah, I think some quiet. of these things is like. Uh, it's like uh, I heard <laughs> I heard Malcolm X say one time. They tell black people black people don't get along, so that way black people don't get along. Don't get along. So is it true that we don't okay. value our own dollars? Right. You know, no, I don't that's think not that true. I don't think if you get a bunch of I don't think that if you continue to get more and more black people in a room, that's something that'll be proven true. I think right, that right. what happens is is you know the same thing as we was talking about. The devil the devil is in the details. You know, we not always profiting the most off of black people spending money somewhere with black people. Because of where you, you can take the, the NBA as a perfect example. Mm -hmm. The people who make the most money for the NBA mm -hmm. is black people. Yeah. You know, but the but the who make the most form is black people. Well, yeah, yeah, whether yeah, yeah. it's black people uh, keeping basketball going as a thing, whether it's black people Shoes, watching at home from yeah, TV yeah. as a writer, because yeah. we guarantee we watch more. We might not go to the stadiums, but we, we watch, watch it more on the TV. Uh, it's a cultural thing, and then there's black people that's out there playing the sport. But the person who makes the most money off of that it's is the owner. the owner. And that's yeah. been, it's the same thing when you go back to some of these black-owned businesses that was going on. And, and, and further back mm -hmm. in times, the further back you go, it was exploitation in them getting that building. It was exploitation in them having their products. Yeah, like so, Wall Street. so it's not necessarily yeah. the concept that we have lost some of these things. Yeah. It's that, you know, they gave you a store for 10 years so that way they can get as much money as they can once the 10 years up. They take the store from, you know, you never was, you know, uh, what it seemed like you yeah. was prospering yeah. to, you never was getting that. They say all the time that integration helped white people, you know, they made more money business-wise for America. They did. It, they you did. know, it, it helped them, you know. I'm and bringing, so, it, bringing it to Rockford. Yeah. I would love to see this idea that's being pushed by white people who consider themselves allies to black people and black revolution. They're pushing this vote narrative. And I want it to be called out for the bullshit that it is because <laughs> it is actually not only counterinsurgency, not only is it delegitimizing everything that people are doing in the streets and the power of what that can bring, the change that that can bring. Overnight, you will see change happen if more people go into the streets. But instead, we're going to wait for the box office because we haven't learned that that may have brought us justice in the past, but that's not working anymore. I wish it could be accepted, and I want to point out the people who are leading this idea of voting. Women's March Rockford is a huge thing that is led by white women who consider themselves allies to Same. black revolution mm -hmm. and black people. And um, teaching them how to vote. How can you tell somebody that doesn't know how to vote or when to, to vote, vote, just go vote? You can't. Be because we'll, well, the thing about it is, like, like Sky said, like when George Floyd was killed, the country was burning within 48 hours. Yep. You saw more mobilization of the city governments Scrambling. making changes Crickling. when the country was burning Boring. than you have seen in the last 40 years yeah. of voting. Yeah. Mm. That is yeah. something to be okay. happy about. The power of the people in the street. That's, not saying that you should yeah. not participate and vote locally. But there's power. But there is absolute power in power. taking that yes. shit to the streets. Yeah. We, more has been a, more was accomplished in those four or five days than in forty years. You seen you seen That's something true. you seen Revolution. something you seen something that America has has never seen. You seen scared white people. After, after, after you, and you, you, oh, they were no, scared, scared of the they were scared. Hold on, 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 Losing right. property. Oh, losing property. It was it was true. It was true. Feel like hold on now. Property is more valuable than people. 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 And so and, and, and that's why you have seen some of those that that quick change is because for the, like the first it was like okay we it's, it was a fear it was an absolute fear that they don't got to live with every single day so and it was a quick hit a quick jolt of fear everybody here this one thing us as black people that I I, I feel like when we fail ourselves is. Everybody here has made right and valid points. Mm -hmm. 
I hope we are able to come to collectively come together with our right and valid points and then formulate a plan. Everybody in this room already worked together. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. So, <laughs> no, 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 right, right. Yeah. What, I'm, what, I'm yeah. saying, what I'm saying is, so, and then just not this room, but then to expound it because that way every it, it, the movement can come become bigger mm. and things and things can get get larger and a greater and a greater impact can really happen because what everybody the intelligence is is and I, and I like it I, you can tell everybody in this room works with each other because of the agreements and the acceptance of everybody's opinion yeah, even though that, we don't all agree on everything, right, 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 Again, yeah. that's not normal. How can two uh, walk together yeah, unless they agree? Yeah. That's not that's that's not normal, bro. But Leslie, that's not normal. That's, that's not. Well, it is absolutely normal for people to normal. agree to work together. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm it saying. is just not normal for people to agree. Is what you're saying. And right? this and this and this city. And we're talking about Rockford. Yeah. The Which is a peculiar place. It is. <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking about Rockford, bro. Yeah, but so, again, but True. again, the same thing. You know? <laughs> I'm talking about Rockford, bro. But again, you got again. It's one of those things where it's like, so what? But what has it's not been nothing functioning to try to have that to happen. So it's no way to say that it's it's not normal, you know? Yeah, no, yes it has, bro. Yes it has. The NAACP. We're not talking is, about this. What's that? The NAACP in most places is an organization that has. Help to pr to push these the changes. Right, 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 That's right. not happening here. Uh, exactly. The same thing nope. as some of the the, the black middle class. Yeah. yeah. So like the, it's, yeah. so again, when you say that it's not normal, I don't know that it's not normal. That's, it's people that, who that, keeping it from happening. It maybe it's not happening, but it's not that it's not normal. That's that's what I'm saying. Your okay. explanation well, is exactly is exactly. Is. Your explanation I, is, is exactly again, what I'm saying. You know, it's, it's just, normal. you know, certain people get but certain here. things here in this. You know, I don't think that it should be put out that in Rockford it's not normal for black people to be able to. It's agree. not, bro. It I, is. Again, it, I don't want to see again, when I both said that agree. Rockford, this is not normal. What I meant was it's not. arresting photojournalists on the street is not normal. Going out and beating the very people who are calling out your police brutality is not normal. I meant white supremacy to this degree that you feel you have to control so much that you move the state law from off the crosswalk so you can... Um, Entrap basically yeah. individuals into arrest. That's not normal. So when I say that's not normal, I'm talking about this system that we know is sick, mm -hmm. that we know needs to be abolished, that we know has harmed us. That's not normal. Yet it has been given to us and perpetrated to us for generations as the norm. That's the one thing that is abnormal. The idea that some other human being has the right to have power and control over yeah, somebody else. Absolutely. That's right. not But normal. I think it's, uh, uh, okay, and so, look, I'm going to say this because it's a, a, a question I want to ask. Okay. And then, and then we can wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah cuz I really can try I say not this, to like, get disrespectful I think about I think voting, like but. Brandon a lot of times when you speaking you speaking on your age generation like and some people speaking on age thing. I'm 48 years old. I don't even old. think that. I think I'm that Brandon's speaking from Brandon's perspective. Right, but I'm speaking on age. I'm talking I'm about, about normally generation. blacks. Yeah. Like, I have a different experience. Hold on. Like, I'm 48 years old. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot we ain't done to sit down with this black, some some black people. Like, Reverend Bland was one of my mentors. You know what I'm saying? What so, they do to him here? But it don't matter. I'm talking about as far as you saying it's not normal for blacks to sit mm -hmm. down and talk. Like, Reverend Bland was one of my mentors because in 89, 90 at Jefferson High School, I and three other students led an all-out boycott on Jefferson. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they sent all the preachers and ministers out there, and they had to sit down with us. And then I demanded a press conference. So once again, now I'm sitting down with Charles Box, Mr. Epps. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting down with some of the city council. I'm sitting down with the principals of the school. So it is normal for blacks to be sitting down with each other working stuff out. How long ago? That was the 80, that's 89 and 90. Said, look what they did to him. Because yeah, look what they did to as him. soon as my kid walks across that's, the that's stage, that's what call is but, 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 no, but, 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 here's, but, but, here's, when I say look who, look who did it to him, it wasn't the white folk. But yeah, same thing, but that's still, so, so that's so separate. That's now. But it, it's that's still, that's separate from the statement. You know, a lot, because some of the things that's happening is like, you will, you will make this statement. And that statement is like a dog whistle statement, even though yeah, you may not realize like it, it's, it's a dog whistle true. statement. 
like saying it's not normal for in Rockford for black people to be able to get together and whether it's organized come together, or, organize oh, and execute. That's a dog yeah. whistle. And that's, that's not a, you know, true. Look and at it, you summer. know, like, you know, what I'm this saying entire like entire summer, and, black people and, and, and have listen, come together and, and organize and, okay. and sustain and an that, entire and, movement. And, and has that and, and has that been normal for the history no, of Rockford? Been, there was some resistance. So that so that is that, that's what that's what I'm yeah, saying. So you so you did it for Baltimore. So you and and it's happening. Yeah, how long? But that's oh, not the same thing for how long? You say, I understand what you For how long? You say right, for how long? Yo, for how long? Yo, for how long? Yo, but okay, the fact, yeah, the fact that it happened. I'm going to bring it in. Yeah. 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 I want to let Sky say something, and then we are going to wrap up. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I do not like to get disrespectful about voting right away. The only time I will take it there is when it is implied that I am responsible or causing violence for not participating in a system where I have to choose the lesser of two evils. When there is not a critique about the people who are staying inside of their house because it doesn't affect them, the people who are not going to protest, when those people are just going to the voting booth and then waiting every year, that's a problem. So if at all I have seen that I am, you know, disrespected, it's because I just don't believe that voting works. And um, I would really like to see people, a collective, the collective understand why it doesn't work. I just like to say thank everybody because I came here listening and I learned something. Oh yeah, definitely. So I want to propose a question, and I want each one of you guys just to answer with a yes, no, and a brief statement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> a brief statement. All right. So the citizens of this nation are mortified and are releasing outrage towards the government's oppressive and corrupt orbiting system. Some would say that the system needs reform. Others will say that it is time to revolt. Is America capable of real, sustainable change? What say you? Yes. Yes. What is America? <laughs> Yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna leave that land of the free, home of the brave. That's a lie. This is not. No, this has never been the land of the free. That's a lie. This has never been the land of the free. Uh, I think lie. that this place oh. that we call America yes. could totally the uh, corporation. Yeah, the corporation of America could totally um, be abolished, and then the land of America would be great. Mm. Anyone else? I think the change. Oh yes. man, the check it can change, but I'm just gonna say this is how I feel. You know, I never give a fuck about who agree with me. Yeah. But I think it's gonna, <laughs> it, I think it's gonna keep changing, but it's gonna be at the lives of a black person, George Floyd. It Why do it's, we always have to be martyrs? We don't. It, that, we gotta no, stop it. it. No, I'm just saying. I'm thinking that's the change because look what what look what look what George Floyd. Look what changed with him dying. Like, it, I'm not saying it as in a good way. I'm just saying that. That's just what it is. Well, yeah, that's what it is. And by more people outside our race participating in it, that's what's going to make it keep changing. But it's like we always got to give our fucking life to get something to fucking change. So if more black people will die, then we will see more. <laughs> well, that's not going to be Let what's going to fix it. That, <laughs> that ain't going to fix it. If that would have fixed it, it would have never right. been a problem. Right. Right. The first that ain't going to fix yeah. it, no. Right. But, what else? What else? I, what else? I'm just saying it's going to change in increments. It's going to change in baby steps. Like, But it's going to be... It's gonna be at the cost of our fucking life, like man. I'll Look what Martin Luther King changes. changed dying. I know I will be. Look what Malcolm X changed dying. Change like, so who has not answered mm -hmm. yet? Uh, to be determined. <laughs> That's the, I mean, to me, I don't, think, I don't think it's any other answer that you know. Is, I'm sure the people that was you know in Rome when you know Rome right. was starting to fall was like, I'm sure, yeah, you know, we can reform this and change this and fix this, yeah. and I'm sure that. You know, it's just like when you, you know, when you're younger, you feel like you're going to live forever. You know, you want to live forever. You feel like you're invincible. And then eventually as death get closer to the door, you realize like, yeah, it's not. And so, you know, <laughs> we might be, for all we know, we might be in the middle of, you know, of the catastrophe of America. And it may seem like, you know, it's a few things that could change. But, you know, give it 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years. And they might is. be down there and be like, oh, yeah, this just, we, we at the end of this. It's a wrap, you mm -hmm. know, so to be determined. They might look back at this time and say this was the beginning of it, right? Yeah, they um, might. They got a space force. They might be. I, personally, I think white people are getting ready to go to space. 
I think that's what that probably is. <laughs> um, what you call it for Tesla? Yeah. He can make it that happen. Yeah. Well, well they got no interest in Tesla. So you, Elon Musk, yours was to uh, the beginning mean. of the end? I think it could it quite possibly is. I think that the way that we have, this, the way things have been structured in the United States, because America is such a U.S. exceptional term, right? There are mm -hmm. other Americas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The way that the United States has structured itself, its governments at every single level, um, makes it damn near impossible for true change to come all at once. Mm. So I don't know. It, we'll tweak things here and there as every generation has, but I don't think that we'll do any massive overhaul in my life. Well, see, that, I mean, mm -hmm. it didn't say how far we're going to change or how much we're going to change. No. It just yeah, said, so. well, then, it's off the top. So that's yeah, right. I mean, well, I understand that. But, but tearing the goddamn statue down ain't going to change shit in the North mm -hmm. Carolina. Yeah, so that's that's Carolina. I love saying the racist. And I'm a conspiracy theorist about that, too. I feel like that's just a way to erase the history. But I like seeing the statues come down. I, I like them, but they didn't change on I, I, I feel, I, for me, that won't be a historic site. But no, we need to make sure yeah, we keep a book around yeah. about the person, though, you know. Yeah, yeah, so keep they they know why yeah, so we can keep that generation. Now. Make sure you keep your eyes on that history. They, they, history. Like, people feel like that changes, so they didn't change. I just opened up another space or something else mm -hmm. to be built there and put there. But. Go ahead, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't think it's capable. I believe that America, that white supremacy will let this thing burn before they change. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, I don't think, I'm not saying it's not going to be violent. It's up to the oppressor. It's up to the oppressor whether or not it's violent. Well, 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 okay, yes, okay. I said it, it is up to the, because I believe it's possible, but whether or not it's violent is up to the oppressor on whether or not it's going They're to be They're either going to be willing or we're going to take it. Hey. And by it, it's like our freedom, yeah. our rights, mm -hmm. our, you know, our, our livelihood. Yeah. Well, guys. We're trying to get past life. <laughs> life, life, liberty. liberty. We have, we're just we're still on life. We're, we're trying to get past oh life. Gosh. That is going to be a whole other thing. We didn't get to that question. But, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, put, we'll just put that up on the page. Hey, I want to thank, I want to thank everyone for come, taking time out of your schedules to come by here and talk with your boy, Hyphen X. I really appreciate that. Um, I just want to thank, I also want to thank our live audience. This is the first time us going live. I appreciate the interaction and everything in the comment section. So when you guys get a chance, get in that comment section. Pretty sure there's some questions in there that we did not get to that you guys may want to. Yay, what yeah. fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Appreciate it. Right. So and also guys, uh, we also want you to remember that you don't always have to agree to have a great conversation. Peace. Peace. Bye. This is to all my Red Cup fans.